600 are stopped, production card. And there you go, hold on to your fingers, cross your fingers, cross your legs, hold on to your hat, close your eyes, they're all going into turn number one at the same time. Whoa, we've got about three or three riders swooping on in there. Hey, a couple of them have gone wide. Our fourth rider went had to slow way down, one rider went off. One rider went off, or three riders went off, it looks like one rider went down, and went down very, very slowly. Slowly, the other two riders just rode off and now they rode it back on again and it looked a little uh, treacherous going into turn number one. We've got a big, big uh, crowd here in this class and uh, we've got your leaders going up to turn number three and turn number four right now and that should be Nigel Gale and Steve Cordillo. Those should be your two favorites coming into this 600 stop production class. Remember, they're going after the $100 gift certificate from Long Beach Yamaha. start finish line it was bike number 153 your points leader out in front steve cordillo bike number 16 a former class champion in this class gary tatsumi running in second spot in third spot bike number 28 chris mcnellis running in uh, third spot in fourth spot bike number 229 that is chuck wychoff doing an excellent job running there in fourth spot in fifth spot bike number 343 i think that was nine. and in sixth spot was bike number Liquid cool bikes up to the free grip. 
Okay, right now, Steve Cordero on his way to picking up a $100 gift certificate from Long Beach Yamaha. As he's uh, running uh, two to four out in front, holds down about a four or five second lead, a good advantage here on this tight 2.5 mile race circuit here at Willow Springs. And I can't believe uh, what is going on. And we've got about seven, eight riders battling for third. And we're going to try and get all those numbers for you as they come by this next time around. But uh, McNellis was in that group along with Eddie Kawaguchi and Chuck Weichoff and also uh, uh, Ron Sharp. They were all in that battle there for uh, third spot. And that hasn't been settled yet. So we're going to keep on that battle for third. As we look down that back straightaway, look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight riders back on that back straightaway, all of them having a chance at third position. Tassumi in second and still leading uh, that uh, massive pack, battling for third is still McNellis, Kawaguchi, then comes 229, that's Wychoff, 374, who is Ron Sharp, then comes bike number 29, Scott Murray, a good ride by Scott Murray, keeping up with the leaders here on the leaderboard, bike number 51 is also in this uh, battle for third spot, 51 is uh, Craig Beecher on the Yamaha, and... Running last in that uh, leading group, bike number 284, that is Blake Jacobson, a new rider here a couple of months ago. Blake Jacobson already proving he can run up there with the leaders. Oh, we got a bet for his bike. some problems in turn number nine with riders riding off or falling over there is this they did reseal over there uh, but there's no markers no indications uh of uh, where to make your peel off point where to break uh, where to accelerate or where to hold on the throttle at turn number nine it really is since they've resealed it kind of a blind turn and you just kind of go into it and you've got to feel your way around now it's different than it was before where they had some sort of markings on the pavement where you could judge uh, your uh, line through the corner, which you cannot do that now with that resealant down there. It really makes the turn much more difficult. race. We're going to make a final call. Four minute two and 450cc liquid cool. Up to the free grid, please. Tatsumi come by the start finish line there in second spot. Here is this massive battle for third now. Kawaguchi now has taken over third from McNellis. McNellis, however, takes a peek at third position. He outbreaks Kawaguchi going into turn number one and takes over third. A great uh, job of getting in the third spot by uh, Kawaguchi, but look at that. He takes it right back again. That was McNellis. He takes back third spot. So, uh, uh, race going hot and heavy for third position out there as they go around turn number two between, uh, it looks like McNellis now and uh, Kawaguchi as they do battle for third spot. And they got, of course, they can't be too uh, careless because they've got four or five riders just pounding down on them for that third position. Eight riders going for that third position as they go up the hill.
they headed on to number two, and they've got two riders behind them that are just pouncing all over them. We've got a terrific duel. Four riders now are going to decide third place here as they go up the hill, and more importantly, they're going to come into some lap traffic, and that's going to make things very, very difficult. We're thinking that it's probably Kawaguchi. Unofficially, we're thinking it's Kawaguchi McNellis. Probably uh, Wychoff and Sharp. Those are probably the riders that are doing battle for third position. We'll check them all out for you. It's like your winner has been decided already. It's going to be Steve uh, Cardillo. 157 is going to pick up that Long Beach Yamaha money. Or I should say that gift certificate. But we're going to keep our eye on that terrific battle for third spot.